All right, now we're gonna take a look at number five. Number five kind of starts into some new problems. We got some new variables to deal with that will kind of lead us into the rest of the problems on the rest of the activity. So we've got a 35 foot long steel rod subjected to a load of 8,000 pounds. The load causes the rod to stretch. So by 266 thousandths of an inch, the modulus of elasticity of steel is 30 million PSI. Determine the diameter of, a rod, of the rod, and it's, we're going to go down to the hundredth of an inch on our precision. So, as we take a look at number five, let's go ahead and start putting in what our, what our knowns are. We know that our force is going to be set at 8,000 pounds. We know that our modulus of elasticity is 30 million PSI. I know my, this one here, we're gonna go into now, delta, the lowercase delta, and it's gonna be the amount of stretch that happens. So look at your formula sheet to see that. So 266 thousandths of an inch, the length is 35 feet. So things we may need to know as far as our knowns. Let's go ahead and draw this in. So I have this rod that's drawn in, 35, 35 foot on the length, and then I'm gonna kinda of show the stretch by using some hidden lines. There's my amount of stretch, 266 thousandths of an inch, 8,000 pounds is pulling down on it, and that's kind of going to be what happens. So, and then of course it's attached probably up here toward the top. So, unknowns. Well, the things that they're wanting us to find out is what's the diameter of the rod. Well, anytime you're looking for diameter, typically you got to have area, just as a rule of thumb. So, we don't know what the area is, and we don't know what the diameter is. So, some different formulas that may help you out. Here is one that we can use, so off of our formula sheet, so actually this is one that doesn't show up on your formula sheet, but one that I'll show you. Area can be found, you could do pi r squared, or you could do pi times diameter squared over four, and then you don't have to worry about converting a radius. The other formula, stretch is equal to force times the length divided by area times the modulus of elasticity. So where that comes from is actually this formula down here at the bottom. These variables have been flipped. So if you look at the way this is set up. Now, even though I write F here, P could also be the amount of force that you have. In fact, on your formula sheet, P is representing the actual force. Sometimes I remember P as poundage. So P, F, they can be kind of an interchange variable in this case. I like using F because then that way you're not confused with it being uh, a different variable. So we know it's force. Okay, as we go through the problem, we, we need to know, uh, first off, what is this area? Well, the other thing is here is you also need to know that your, um, you need to be able to convert, since we're in PSI on all these units, any of your feet, you need to go through and convert over into inches. So when I convert this over, 420 inches there, and then I can start to put this into the formula. So stretch is equal to force times length over area times the modulus of elasticity. Start plugging in values, 0.226 inches equal to 8,000 pounds times 420 inches divided by A, and then times the modulus of elasticity 30 million PSI. Okay, in terms of how this, how this works, you're gonna have to take 30 million times A and multiply it by this case. So, 30 million times 0.266 is gonna give me 7,980,000, and that's equal to so, of course, i got to have my A variable in there. I about forgot that. A is equal to, and then I could go ahead and take 8,000 pounds 
times 420 to simplify this. And here I'm going to end up getting 3,360,000. So here I'm going to have to divide by my 7 million to get A by itself. And then that way, so I'm going to kind of run this in my calculator off screen. I'm going to end up getting about a, a 0.42. So here I'm matching kind of the level of precision we have. That's in square inches for your area. And then for a matter of the next formula, area is equal to pi times diameter squared over 4. Plug in 0.42 equals pi diameter squared over 4, multiplied by 4 on each side, and then when I do that, I'm going to have 1.68 is equal to pi times diameter squared, divide by pi on each side, and take the square root, so that way the pi's cancel, the, the square root will cancel the square, and from here, my diameter will come out to be uh, somewhere in the ballpark. I'm kind of running out of room here, but uh, about 0.7321 inches. And when I go through and express that as my final answer, they want me to go down to the hundredth of an inch. So I will record that as 0.73 inches. So a little different scenario, a little bit different formula to work with, but that's kind of the the kind of uh, new variables we're working with. Stretch, modulus of elasticity comes in into this as well, but other things uh, that we've already learned and you're starting to apply.